Richard Bird, welcome to WPC TV. You're the former US ambassador to Germany and now, of course, the managing director of McLarty Associates in Washington, DC. Well, it's good to talk to you. What is the, I'd like your view really on the Trump presidency. Well, that's a big subject. Now that you're not in politics anymore, you can speak frankly. Well, it is, uh, first of all, obviously unique. He's developed his own personal style. It doesn't resonate with the establishment. He's not a conventional politician. But he's somehow been able to establish a bond with a group of people who are angry, who feels like Washington has ignored them. And he's established with his famous tweets an ability to communicate over the heads of the media. It's what he calls the fake news. The real question is, uh, how much damage will he do to America's position in the world with this very unconventional focus on a very unilateralist and some would say even selfish promotion of American interests? Are you thinking in terms of the JCPOA, for example, the Iran nuclear deal? Well, he calls it the, the worst deal ever negotiated, but there he, he, his bark is worse than his bite. Uh, he hasn't uh, torn up the deal. Are handing it to Congress? He's told he wants the Congress to handle it, so in that way he sort of dodged a very controversial issue. But no, I'm talking more a little, uh, more a little bit about his approach to trade deals where he's pulled out of the TPP, the big Asian multilateral trade agreement, the Paris environmental accords. He clearly doesn't like multilateral international deals. He's much, very, much more focused on bilateral U.S. first negotiations. Well, a final question then. I mean, he succeeded as one of 17 Republican candidates for the nomination. He succeeded in the presidential election itself against all the, uh, the pundits. Is this a sign that presidential, can, well, presidents in future will be of an entirely different nature? They won't come from conventional politics. I think that's a great question because I think it does represent a change in American politics. I think you're going to begin to see people e that either come out of the media maybe people who have uh, been uh, even uh, film stars. Uh, there's talk, for example, of George Clooney running for president. Or you'll get the well-spoken, articulate billionaires. Howard Schultz, the man who uh, founded uh, Starbucks. Starbucks. Uh, so people like that, I think, persons big, maybe Zuckerberg. But, but big personalities, people who believe that uh, they have something to say and have the money to put the money to back it up. Richard Burt, thank you very much for those insights. Thank you. Thank you.